Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to update firmware version of Netgear EX6200 AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender. Guys, it is always recommended to keep your device's firmware up to date. Also, most extenders will show you the option to update its firmware once you log in into its web user interface. Now, in order to update any Netgear Extender's firmware, you first need to log in into Extender's web page. For this, first make sure that your Extender is plugged into the wall and it should be all set up and working. Also, your laptop or computer should be connected to the Extender's network name. Once connected, open a browser on the very same device and in the URL type MyWiFiEXT.net or use MyWiFiEXT.local or try 192.168.1.250 to access the EX6200 web user interface. This should bring Netgear EX6200 login page where you simply just need to type your username and password to login into it. If My Wi-Fi EXT is not working for you, then you need to log in into Extender's web page using its IP address. Watch our video on how to log in into any Wi-Fi extender using its IP address. The link is given in the description. Now, once you are logged in into the extender, click on the menu option and then go to settings and then to firmware update. There, you will see two options. First is to check online and the second is to browse and upload so if you click on check online it will automatically check for latest firmware version if available and then will ask for your permission to update it or not if you click on yes then it will automatically update it for you and the second option is to browse so basically in this one you first need to download the firmware from netgear's official website that is downloadcenter.netgear.com the link is provided in the description on the website you need to type your device's model number and on the right hand side you will see firmware slash software and the top one is the latest one click on it to download it once downloaded you will have to extract the files on your local system now go back to your extenders web page and click on the browse option next select the file from your local system that you extracted the firmware files ends with chk extension do kindly note that during the time the extender is updating its firmware do not turn off the system or the extender moreover do not try to go online too until its firmware update is completely finished so the firmware update takes a couple of minutes and after that the extender restarts again. Now you will be able to connect your phones, laptops, smart TVs to the extender's network again. Just in case the firmware is corrupt and your extender is not working after firmware update then we recommend you to reset your EX6200 extender and then try the setup again. We have already made videos on how to reset EX6200 and how to set it up too. The link is provided in the description. Also, one very important thing to note down is that when you try EX6200 extender setup, make sure you don't end up on third party websites who might scam you for hundreds of dollars and might also steal your data. We have made a complete video on how to save yourself from this Netgear Extender scam. The link is provided in the description again. Moreover, if any certain version is causing an issue into your extender, then we recommend you to downgrade the firmware by downloading it from downloadcenter.netgear.com and uploading it on your extender's firmware page. Moreover, we do also provide independent support for different gadgets like printers, routers, smart TV, Roku, Alexa, extenders, etc. So if you need any technical help with any home appliance, 
then you can get in touch with our technician on our official website devicesetup.com. The link is given in the description. And if the video was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.